you know when you, when you enter the class late and everybody just looks at you like you just peed in your pants yep yeah? that kind of feeling that's not a good feeling so don't even try to go to class late i don't know why am i tapping this instead of the camera <laughs> so we're good i think i missed a lot but i'm gonna catch up later after this video so yeah hey ah let's go let's hey let's go hey hey let's go hey Hello, good souls. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a wonderful week, a wonderful day. How are you guys doing in Canada, in Ghana, in Europe? Where in Europe? Poland, Ukraine, Netherlands. All my friends, how are you guys doing? Oh, I know that it's been a long time that I posted on here, and my New Year's resolution was to post more about like past this stuff. And like about God and my devotions and all that good stuff but I haven't really gotten the time to fix my schedule yet because this month was just a lot of things there was a lot of things going on in my life that I had to just like settle down pray and ask God for help so today I woke up feeling very pumped I was so excited to go to class thank God for life as well and guess what I was late to class <laughs> I was very very late to class so I went there like 30 minutes late and now that, that is like the worst I don't normally go to class late. That's why today I was so angry that I had to arrive late. Class late and everybody just looks at you like you just peed in your pants. Yep, yeah? that kind of feeling. That's not a good feeling. So don't even try to go to class late. Uh, today is Wednesday and normally on Wednesdays I have one class and I come back and then I do like my assignments and I take a nap. Every Wednesdays I'm free. We're going to start doing these this bubble um daily devotions at Joyce Mayer and it was a gift it was a Christmas gift so I would really like to share it with everybody every Wednesdays and so watch out for me everyone I like to have a routine of everything that I do so we're gonna start by asking a question and answering it and then you can also answer it in the comment section and then I'm gonna read the devotion and then we'll talk about it I've explain it further and then like if you have questions as well you can ask it over there and we can discuss or tell me what you learned after listening to me speak okay <laughs> so our question for today is what are three things that you can be grateful for i am grateful for the warm bed that i sleep in i am grateful for the genuine genuine and true friends that i have in my life thank you i am so grateful as well for my body is working in perfect harmony yeah those are the three things that i'm grateful for what about you well today's devotion is called do your best with what you have and we're gonna talk about the memory verse that goes on with it as time goes on we'll have a lot of memory verses to cover and talk about but every one is these for now we're gonna talk about one memory verse. exodus chapter 20 verse 17 it says you shall not covet your neighbor's house your neighbor's wife or his manservant or his maidservants or his ox or his donkey or anything that is your neighbor's yep that's what it says <laughs> how do you feel about your life do you like it do you love it do you enjoy it do you hate it and wish you had a different one than you have mm. do you look at other people and their lives and wish you were them and had theirs do you want to look the way they look on what they own have their career and family or are you happy with the life that god has given you in the bible wanting what others have is called coveting and it is forbidden by God. He even included it in the Ten Commandments. You are never going to have anyone else's life, so wanting it is a waste of time. You won't look like them either, so learn to do the best you can with what you have. So I have adopted a new phrase lately, and it is helping me to deal with reality and not wasting my time being upset about things I cannot do about it. I have been saying it is what it is. Somehow, that is a reality check for me, and I quickly realize I need to deal with things the way they are, not the way I wish they were. Nobody has a perfect life, and it is entirely possible that if you want someone else's life, they are busy wanting someone else's life too. Perhaps they even want your life. Unknown people want to be movie stars, and movie stars want privacy. <laughs> the regular employee wants to be the boss, 
and the boss wishes he did not have so much responsibility. A single woman wants to be married and sometimes a married woman wishes she was single. Contentment with life is not a feeling, but it is a decision that we must make. So contentment does not mean that we never want to see change or improvement, but it does mean that we can be happy where we are and we will do the best we can with what we have. It also means we will maintain an attitude that allows us to enjoy the gifts of life. That is such a powerful message. Wow. And so each day we're gonna talk, we're gonna do the trust in him. Trusting in him exercise. So today, our trusting in him exercise will be if God wants you to have what someone else has, you can trust in him to bring it to you. But first, you must be happy with what you have and do the best you can with it. What I understood from what we read about today was, for me, contentment is a decision that I must make to be happy where I am and to do the best that I can with whatever that I have. I used to really hate, hate is too strong. I used to just like my voice because I have this like bass voice that make it makes me sound like a boy and i really did not like it in high school i did not like it at all because it affected my how i uh talk to people i laughed and how i sang and yeah so many things yeah it affected a lot of things so i wasn't able to like communicate better with other people because i was very very sensitive of my voice my bass voice like it's so deep <laughs> so contentment is like I have it. It's my voice. It's the voice that God has given it's given to me. So I'm supposed to do the best I can with what I have. So still growing to love my voice and use it the best that I can. And like my friends have been telling me that my voice, they really like my voice, especially when I sing. Cause now you know those people that have high pitched, they can't really go down. So that is like an advantage for me to like use my voice to to go deep to sing and bass and like down and like just play around with my voice and all that so yeah i love my life and i do not wish to have it any other way i really love my life and i mm -mm, i don't wish to have it any other way what i also wrote was i'm not gonna look at any other people i'm not gonna look at others and wish to have their life because I really do not know what they're going through so I wouldn't want to wish to be in that person person's shoes also very very happy with the life that God has given to me and it talked about the phrase it is what it is and I really like that phrase because someone else is busy wanting someone else's life like just as it said in the devotion that famous people want to have privacy but then those that are like not famous they want to be famous so like you never have it your way i will do is i will maintain an attitude that will allow me to enjoy the gifts of life so yeah i'm gonna trust in god and so yeah if you have any other thing you want to talk about you can comment it down honestly nobody's gonna discriminate like let's try to have a positive atmosphere pos positive relationship and be able to, to discuss online and feel very comfortable discussing if you cannot comment it you can send me a message and I promise I'm not, I'm going to be confidential about it. If you text me on Messenger and you want me to share it, I will share it, but I'm not going to put your name if you don't want your name to be there. So today we could go through our day with a mindset that if God wants me to have what someone else has, I can trust in him to bring it to me. I should not covet. I should not even think about wishing to have what other people have me but first really have to be happy with what i have and do the best that i can with what i have because if i'm not happy with what i have god sees that he's not gonna bring the best to me so i should be able to be very very content with content and happy with what i have so that is the message that i have for us today the next one is day should i tell you what we're gonna talk about mm, i'll save it <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. I mean, this is not YouTube, but like, don't subscribe. You can like it, love it, or just use all the emotions on there. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful week. <laughs>